How to fix iPhone hotspot not working. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the iPhone hotspot not working issue. If your personal hotspot isn't showing up or other devices can't connect to it, don't worry. I've got you covered. I'll walk you through some quick and easy troubleshooting steps to get your hotspot working again. So make sure to watch this video till the end and let's get started. Before diving into the more advanced solutions, let's go over some essential things to keep in mind when using your personal hotspot. First, ensure that the devices you're trying to connect are close to your iPhone, as the hotspot only functions within a limited range. Additionally, Updating your iPhone to the latest iOS version can sometimes fix the issue, so it's worth checking for updates before moving forward. To ensure your iPhone is running the latest iOS version, head to Settings, tap on General, and select Software Update. If an update is available, simply download and install it. Additionally, your network selection is typically set to automatic by default. If you've previously turned it off, you'll need to re-enable it so your iPhone can automatically detect and connect to available networks. To do this, navigate to Settings, tap on Cellular, and then select Network Selection. Ensure that cellular data is turned on, as the Network Selection option will not be visible if cellular data is disabled. If it's currently off, switch it back on and set it to Automatic Mode if you haven't already. If your personal hotspot still isn't working and the devices connected to it are unable to access the internet, there's a possibility that your cellular data isn't properly enabled or functioning. Double check that your data plan is active and that you have sufficient coverage in your area, as weak or no signal can prevent hotspot functionality from working correctly. Open the control center. Try toggling cellular data off and then back on. This simple step can often resolve minor glitches that may have been preventing your iPhone's personal hotspot from working properly. Once done, check if other devices can now connect to your hotspot successfully. Another common issue is when your personal hotspot becomes invisible or undiscoverable by other devices, making it difficult to establish a connection. If this happens, the next step is to check whether your personal hotspot is set to be discoverable. Head over to Settings, then tap Personal Hotspot. Make sure that Allow Others to Join is turned on so other devices can find and connect to your hotspot. For quicker access, you can also enable it directly from the Control Center. Press and hold the Network Settings card in the Control Center, and a new expanded panel will appear, displaying additional network options, including your personal hotspot. If it is turned off, simply tap to enable it. Once activated, your personal hotspot should now be visible and discoverable by other devices, allowing them to connect. However, if you've ensured that all the basic settings are correctly configured and your personal hotspot is still not functioning as expected, there are additional troubleshooting methods you can try to resolve the issue. A simple yet effective solution is to perform a force restart on your iPhone. This process helps refresh your device by clearing temporary cache and resolving minor system glitches. To force restart your iPhone, quickly press and release the Volume Up button, followed by the Volume Down button. Then, press and hold the Power button until the Apple logo appears on the screen. Your device will reboot, which may help restore the functionality of your personal hotspot. This method applies to iPhone 8 and newer models. If you're using an older iPhone, the steps will be different. You can check the link in the top right corner for a guide specific to your device. Once your iPhone has finished rebooting, try connecting to your personal hotspot again. If you don't see the personal hotspot option in your settings, or if it appears grayed out in the control center, there could be another issue preventing it from working properly. If your personal hotspot option is missing or not working, the first thing to check is whether your mobile data plan supports hotspot functionality. Since personal hotspot is controlled by your carrier, you'll need to ensure that your current plan includes hotspot access. To verify this, contact your carrier's customer support and ask if hotspot usage is enabled on your plan. If it's not, you may need to upgrade your plan or activate the feature through your carrier's app or website. Another important step is to check if your carrier settings are up to date. 
If a new update is available, you'll see a prompt under Settings, General, About, asking you to install the latest carrier update. Keeping these settings updated ensures that your network connectivity and hotspot functionality work properly. Additionally, make sure that your mobile data connection is strong and that you have a sufficient data balance and speed to share between devices. If your data plan is limited or throttled, your personal hotspot may not work as expected, even if it appears to be turned on. If your data plan is insufficient, you won't be able to share your internet connection with other devices. As mentioned earlier, there are instances where the personal hotspot option may appear grayed out in the settings app or within the control center. When this happens, you won't be able to tap on the option, which prevents you from enabling your personal hotspot or making any changes to its settings. This issue can be caused by carrier restrictions, network problems, or incorrect settings on your iPhone. To resolve this issue, first, check if airplane mode is turned on. When airplane mode is enabled, it disables both cellular data and the personal hotspot feature. Simply turning it off will allow your cellular data to reconnect automatically, and your personal hotspot should no longer appear grayed out. Additionally, make sure your data plan is still active and not close to expiring. If you're facing issues related to your SIM card, try removing and reinserting it. To do this, you'll need to power off your device, take out the SIM card, then insert it back and restart your iPhone. Next, carefully remove your SIM card from your iPhone using a SIM ejector tool or a small paperclip. Wait for a few seconds before reinserting the SIM card into its slot. Ensure that it is properly seated before closing the tray. Once you've placed the SIM card back in, restart your iPhone and check if the personal hotspot feature is now accessible. If you're experiencing issues with older devices not connecting to your personal hotspot, you can try enabling the Maximize Compatibility feature. This setting helps improve connectivity for devices that might struggle to detect or connect to your hotspot. To enable it, open Settings, navigate to Personal Hotspot, and switch on the Maximize Compatibility toggle. However, keep in mind that this feature is only available on iPhone 12 and newer models, so if you're using an older device, this option won't be visible in your settings. When you enable Maximize Compatibility on your iPhone, it switches the hotspot frequency from 5 GHz to 2.4 GHz, making it easier for older devices to connect to your personal hotspot. However, keep in mind that this adjustment may reduce the speed of your hotspot connection. If you're still experiencing issues, another option is to manually configure your personal hotspot settings. Your iPhone uses an access point name, APN, to establish an internet connection through your cellular carrier's network. By adjusting your APN settings, you may be able to enhance network performance and resolve connectivity issues. To manually set up your personal hotspot, follow these steps. Open Settings and go to Cellular. Tap on Cellular Data Network. Scroll down to find the Personal Hotspot section. In the APN field, type the name of your cellular provider. This information can usually be found on your carrier's website. Next, enter any random username and password in the respective fields. This method can sometimes help in establishing a more stable internet connection when using your iPhone as a hotspot. When entering your APN credentials, the recording function hides the password for security reasons, so you won't be able to see it. Once you've entered the details, close the Settings app and then reopen it to ensure the changes are saved properly. Each cellular service provider has a different APN configuration for internet access. If you're unsure about your APN credentials or having trouble setting it up, it's best to contact your service provider and request the correct details. In addition to Wi-Fi, you can also connect to your personal hotspot using Bluetooth or a USB cable. This is helpful if your Wi-Fi connection is unstable or if you want a more secure connection. If you're still having problems with your personal hotspot and none of the methods I've mentioned have worked, you can try the Reset Network Settings option on your iPhone as a last resort. Go to General and scroll all the way down for this. Tap Transfer or Reset iPhone, then Reset. From the pop-up menu, select Reset Network Settings 
and enter your passcode when prompted. To confirm, tap on Reset Network Settings once more. This will restore your network settings to their original state, erasing any previously set preferences and configurations. Any Wi-Fi, cellular, and VPN settings are reset to their default configurations. You will also need to reconnect your iPhone to your Wi-Fi. If the problem still persists, then resetting all of your iPhone may help. So if these all steps didn't help you out, go for reset. For more details on troubleshooting personal hotspot connection issues, check out the official Apple website. If any of these methods worked for you, let others know in the comments which one solved your issue. That's all for today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more useful tech tips. Have any questions? Drop them in the comments and I'll be happy to help. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.